you idiots drink? Soda! What? What do sodas call their dads? Pop! <laughs> Pops, uh, it's so cheesy. A hippie's favorite soda? Granola Cola! Um, alright then. Uh, my name is Bubbles. Oh, see, my, my Ghanaian character's name is Mr. Bubbles. I built Chateau de Chuckle High and founded Chuckle Cola Inc. It's a weird ass, weird ass name. And I am the ultimate community with the laughing and the chortling in the har har har. Okay then. Chortling, I gotta w look it up. Alright. Yes, monsieurs. Okay. Indeed, what you see, you see before you is the most legendary of sodas, the Chocola Reserve. And I am pleased to tell you, this Chocola Reserve is yours to enjoy. <laughs> yeah, this seems surprise. He ha ha ha. I worked on the Chocola Reserve for a thousand years, telling her jokes, jokes after jokes, and freaking jokes, man. Even though, even, even though they're cheesy. And so, at the last, the greatest soda of all will be completed with the fizz and the tastiness. Because of the soda of such high caliber and repute, rude guests meet a face such as this. Oh man, the soda. The soda is too strong for them. The soda is too strong for them. That that's no unordinary soda, you see? We can't stand up to such a beverage. Wow. Oh wait, Bowser already did the job, okay. The great jugular reserve is a thing to savor with the flavor and tang and yum in the belly. Oh god. Did, did, did like the rims of the bear just turn to teeth? Oh my god, that is creative. Ah, oh, it, it is so wonderful, so wonderful. The gray soda shines. <laughs> oh my god, first of all, it, it's something so off. Oh my god, that this I feel bad for this peanut, peanut guy. I don't understand why he has to waste his life on this soda. I, I don't understand how does this soda even, how does this soda even freaking like, oh, how, does, how does this freaking thing form? Basically, what he's telling us is that he basically wasted a thousand years of his life to freaking shrinking the soda with cheesy jokes. <sighs> Whatever then, but anyway, we're, we're gonna do this boss battle right here. Is that, as you can see, you probably know what to do. See, as for this boss battle, which is the Chocolate Reserve, you have the only the only items that you you have to use is your hammers. Okay, you can't jump on his head because it would basically do one damage. That's it. That's particularly it. I mean, I mean, unless you, unless you want to drag out the battle for like I don't know five hours by spam, spamming jump or splash brother splash bros, then go right ahead. But anywho, the the best course of action for taking on this boss is basically. Um, Using the bros attacks with hammers, which is chopper bros or knockback bros. Yes So yeah, I mean this is the perfect time for me to show off the uh, The hammer bros attacks and from now on once I get the new um the new actions for these uh, For the Mario bros and I'll go I'm gonna showcase them for, uh, for on the first enemy that we face after we get those new actions and I believe I mean the only actions we have is like jump like jump no, no, sorry. Jump, hammer, and the elements, which Mario, of course, has fire, and Luigi has lightning, which is cool. But anywho, all you have to do for this battle is spam, is spam, uh, freaking bros attacks with hammers. That's it. So basically, chopper bros and knockback bros, brothers. I mean, they they could have called Luigi's uh bros attack um Jack uh, Jackie brothers. You know, Jackie Robinson, you know, baseball, you know, <laughs> Jackie Brothers, <laughs> that'd, be, that'd be really funny in, in my book, but yeah, so at a certain, at a certain stage of this battle, he will, um, the Chocolate Reserve will shrink into a, oh, a Chocolator, okay then, I, know, I kept calling it Chocolate Reserve since, like, he called it the Chocolate Reserve, but okay then, anywho, yeah, once you... Hit, hit a certain amount of damage at the chocolator, then he will start to shrink. And um, after that, I mean, I think after this turn that he will start to shrink. Well, once he starts to shrink, then he will throw his body at you, and you don't want to hit. You don't want him to hit you because he will give you the the poison status. And that particularly happened to Luigi. And when it comes to pressing B, pressing B is not my, my best suit. I. I pretty much have a dominant button, which means I have a dominant brother in this game, which is Mario. I'm really suited well for A. I wish, 
I wish I can just alternate between buttons for Mario and Luigi, therefore I could like just use Luigi as the A button too. That'd be nice. But I think you know, on certain on certain parts of the game, Mario and Luigi will be separated, and uh, I think that it will let me use um, A for Luigi if he's by himself. But yeah, and I think this is the turn where the Chocola Reserve or the Chocolator shrinks, or he does not. Okay then. Okay. Okay then. But what's the deal with this with this peanut guy? I mean, serious. Seriously, he wasted a thousand years of his freaking life. How can he even live for a thousand years? Damn it! Oh my lord! A thousand years. T telling this thing. I, the the worst part is that is that this Jacob Reserve actually likes these jokes. Matter of fact, you're gonna see him in this part of the battle. Like he's gonna like twirl his ass way in his uh, battlefield and just tell him a random stupid joke just so he can get more HP. Oh, see right here. Right here, look at this. Do bats like baseball? See, oh, see that? That type of BS right there, oh my god. Oh, Lord Jesus Christ, but anyway. As you witness right there, um, the Jacola Reserve threw his body towards Luigi, and you see what happens, like I said, he'll get the poison status. Oh, Lord. And that's when those wonderful, refreshing herbs come in. Just eat, eat that sucker up, and you'll be fine. Just make sure your freaking uh, dodges are precise as hell. Uh, I wonder. Is it, is it because the the controller I'm using for this emulator? Or, or, yeah, it has to be. The controller really messes me up when it comes to pressing the B button. I gotta really change my controller map, but like I said, once he shrunk, do the same thing. Just spam bros attacks until he's out of there, man. Until he's out of there. Okay, guys? Not that hard to do. <laughs> like I said, every boss battle, spam the hell out of bros attacks. And you see, he has been dealt with. And we're about to level up with Mario! Mario, Mario, Mario. And I believe, if I remember correctly, that I gave him more bros points because I did I started having trouble trying to like, you know, spam all the bros attacks I can get, so I just need, I need more bros points, you know, to want to use that super lot so I can, so I can waste a turn or something, I mean, the turn is not really wasted, it's just, I just, I just want to get the battle done, or, like, over with and stuff, I mean, Jesus. What's really sad, though, about this game is that it doesn't really add too, too much strategy towards the RPG elements. It does have some cool mechanics, but yeah. But, but the jokes, the puns, the humor I've seen up over the last thousand years. And you waste your life for that. I mean, you could have, could have like, taken notes from Kevin Hart or something. I mean, come on. For God's sake, old man. And you dug me underground with your freaking soda? Now, that doesn't make any sense whatsoever. You, you wasted, you wasted a thousand years of your life. A thousand years of your freaking life. Telling jokes to a damn soda. And you're just gonna throw it away like that? <sighs> you're such a careless old man. Anywho, uh, this is the end of the episode, obviously, because it's like around nine minutes. So my my apologies. Normally these episodes go around for 15 minutes, but I just have to stop here because right now I'm just gonna show I'm just gonna showcase the boss battle. But anyway, thank you for watching. This is Tricks on Seven Out. Please make sure to comment, subscribe, and thank you for watching. Peace out, my pop tarts.